Alright guys, what's going on? This is a PS3 tutorial video and uh, basically I'm going to show you how to install the Iris Manager for 4.xx custom firmwares on your PS3. You do need custom firmware in order to do this and basically what this is, it is a, uh, it's a game manager um, for your PlayStation 3 and uh, I'm going to show you how to install it and how it works. So first things first, you're going to have to download the Iris manager dash four dash x zero file right here I will have the link below for the download along with more information with this video you're gonna need a flash drive um, to plug into your PS3 and uh, I'm gonna be using my 32 gig one here so you'll see other files in there and stuff but just uh, focus on the folders that I point to and what you need and uh, if it makes it easier for you you can get a specific flash drive especially for these things and uh, so let's jump to it. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open this up and uh, you'll see all this good stuff here. Now, you'll see the uh, Iris Manager dash uh, 4 dash X package right here and then animated doesn't really matter which one um, and then you'll see all this fucking shit right here, all these readmes and stuff like that. For an example, this one here, 1.60 and uh, adding PSX ISOs for Iris Manager. Create PSX games folding the root of the HDD or USB devices and all that fun jazz. And then just put the PSX game folder here and name the, fo the folder used as game from Iris Manager. So basically this is just saying like if you want to install PS1 games to use with this all you do is uh, create a folder on your PS3's HDD using uh, Multiman and the um, file manager go into the root and you want to call it PSX games and uh, then after that you want to put PSX another folder inside there and then you put your ISOs for PSX there. So uh, yeah but Mostly they're going to be ISOs. You've got bins and image files too. It doesn't really matter. Um, but that's that. So that's for the PS1. I will show how to install them. Um, and then uh, home launch package. This is basically just launching the games from your home screen instead of having to go through multi-man and stuff. It's a quick little thing. Um, 2.0 text. That's just the rights and agreements. So yeah, and that's about it. And then you got the language packs right here. So we're gonna just stick with English, and uh, this is what we're focusing on right here. Iris Manager Dash Four Dash X Dot PKG, aka PlayStation Package File. So we're just gonna leave this up in the top left hand of the screen here, and I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna go to my computer. So go into my computer now and you're going to locate, well, I don't even have it plugged in yet. So take your USB flash drive and plug it on in. If you have Windows, the autoplay should come up. If you don't have Windows and have Mac, it'll come up on the bottom here or somewhere on your fucking dash or something like that. And um, I'm going to just scroll down here. And there it is, removable disk Q. Oh, never mind. It's removed disk O. Alright, I'll open the fucking files that way. Open files. Alright. So what you're going to want to do is on the root of the USB, you're going to want to create a new folder and call it packages. Like so, like I did right here. And uh, after you do that, double click on that and open it up. We have the Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories package, which I am not concerned with. But I'm going to leave it there anyway. But what you're going to do now is simply take the iris manager dash four dash x package and drag and drop that over into your packages folder on the usb device that you have now once you do that it's all copied over all good and done what you can do now is you can exit this and exit your zip archive viewer rar viewer program and now we're gonna have to go to the ps3 and i will show you what to do from there alright so here's the ps3 and uh, what I want you to do is take that USB that you had put your package file on and plug that into your PlayStation 3. 
Now what you should do is you should see that I am on custom firmware. So seeing that I'm on custom firmware here, and uh, you're just going to come down uh, to your game here real quick and scroll up till you see the package manager. Open that up and say install package files and install from package folder. And you should see the iris manager 4-x.x.package. Alright, so I've already installed that, and uh, so I'm not going to install it again. Uh, but I put it in this folder here, and this is what it should look like, Iris Manager version 2.42. Uh, so uh, simply, just uh, go ahead and start that up, and I'm just going to give a brief little demo of this real quick. Alright, so uh, let me just grab a game real quick here, just to prove to you that I'm not being a retard. And uh, it's going to ask you to do all this shit, uh, which is basically like put all this and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and then I'll just uh, hit X and save that. And you will see that uh, I have Black Ops 2 in there right now. So uh, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to swap out the game just to show that this is working. So there it goes, it goes blank, and I'm removing it. It'll show your temp for your CPU and stuff like that. And uh, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put in The Club, another PS3 title. This is an older game. Allow it to read the disc. And it should come up. Come on. All right. Well, uh, well, that's loading. I'll go through the um, through the settings here. Oh, there it is. All right. So I'm gonna go back to settings by hitting start, and you got all these tools. Uh, go back to tools and all this uh, delete cache tool, uh, English package installer, this that blah blah blah, and then that. Come back to settings again. Credits. Change background color change game directory and your game directory is the HHD0 uh, games all capital letters that's the uh, default directory now if you hit select these are the game options and uh, bring these up real quick and you can config the game copy the game fix file permissions test the game and uh, copy the eboot bin to USB uh, for emulating ISOs on your computer uh so yeah that's that and uh... so i could do what i wish here and or i can just hit x and it'll go right to the game so iris manager is basically just a game manager for your uh... ps3 this that blah 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 or it won't go to the game alright whatever but there you go. There's the club right there. And, uh, yeah, so that's about it. So rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, let me know what you think of Iris Manager. And, uh, yeah, so I will get back to you ASAP. And uh, check out my website, software-reborn.com. Also check out my Twitter. Follow me on there, at DeathRain333. And uh, go check out my blog spot, Electronics and Software. All the links are on my channel up on the Software Reborn banner so uh, yeah go check that out and be sure to leave your comments in discussion on my channel for your questions answered every month so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoy this little manager